Yeah. This isn't the base, but uh, I don't know. It's close enough. I thought we'd stop by Trader Bob, I think is who's over here. Not 100% sure. Before we head back, because, eh, you know, who knows, maybe there will be something interesting worth buying. Been kind of remiss on getting around and checking traders and all that jazz, but in part, since there are no quests, there's not really as much reason to come out here as far as I'm concerned. And also, I'm kind of just running with the idea of, uh, yeah, you know, we don't really need to go to the trader all that much for anything, if at all. I mean, technically, so, uh, you know, it is what it is. There is not a thing worth anything out here, so I'm just going to go ahead and sell you all those guys. And um, this was a complete and utter waste of time. I mean, I guess there are things we could buy. I mean, there's... I don't know. It just... it's... We could buy some old outdoor lights and then create a generator and boom. There you go. I don't think I care enough to do that, so... I'll meet you at the, back at the base, easy for me to say, for real, for realsy reels, this time. If you're wondering where all the damage came from, uh, I might have taken a shortcut to, to get back, and uh, all the damage is actually sustained by driving, and maybe more correctly, falling? I don't know, whatever. It was a bike thing, so it is what it is. These guys are all pretty much the same, so this brand new one that we found is very, very slightly better in terms of overall durability, but it's technically worse on the electrical side, so I don't know if it even matters, other than I guess we could sell that thing or something. I don't know. Whatever. I don't know if I really want to go to town on breaking down all of these guns and then upgrading all the parts, because holy cow, that's going to take a minute to do all that, but... I guess I'm going to get started for now, and, um, I don't, I don't know. I don't know. I'm really not sure how I feel about that overall. Ah, oh, goodness, I really wish we had a better engine. That needs to be a thing for now. Let's go ahead and eat a meat stew. We're going to go from 23 health to something, and that went from 7 hunger to 90%, so, uh, 83? Is that right? That's, that's my math, so 17, you will get full health. Full, full, full food. Full food. That's what I meant to say. Full food. For now, let's start breaking some things down. That gives us quite a few to work with, so now we will disassemble our existing gun. And we'll see what we end up with as our possibilities. So I did kind of run into the wall. Pistol grip is going to be as good as it can get, but that doesn't mean that we cannot combine different grips. And then these pistol parts can be pretty good. We'll combine those receivers and then barrel that should max out. There you go. And when I say max out, in this case, I mean 350 is the best we can do based on our current skill level of everything so that gives us a gun that's a 349 oh i should have paid attention beforehand to see what the entity damage was because that's not too shabby now i mean just overall looking at that that's pretty good i mean i'm not upset with that pistol and i don't know what i just clicked on but i clicked on the wrong thing apparently so i'll figure it out i'll find out what's missing eventually i don't know when uh that pistol we do want back so let's Let's keep that guy. And then I'm not going to worry about all of the other, like, rifle and blah, blah, blah. Because I'm not as interested in that, in part because we have the sniper rifle. So, I don't know, a, a single round rifle I'm, I'm not really feeling right now. Shotgun long barrel, shotgun receiver, short sock, don't care about. So we'll just go through our shotgun parts right quick. This will be nice and easy. Not a big deal. We'll have multiple things to put together to disassemble all that jazz. I'm going to do this one with you because I like to torture you. There you go. There's one. There's another. That gets us up to 300. That's pretty good. I'm going to say I bet that ends up around a 250. And then if I grab the correct one, this is going to give us a 340-something would be my guess. 205 and a 203. That'll give us like a 215-ish maybe. Whatever. All that's pretty decent because we can put that back together now. 
and we have ourselves a 277 shotgun, which is a really good improvement. Again, didn't pay attention to the entity damage beforehand, but 64.66. Yeah, I'm I'm not upset with that at all. That's that's pretty good as far as I'm concerned. So we can, if we wanted, we can upgrade all of this stuff with regard to the hunting rifle, as I said. We're not going to worry about that right now. Maybe another day we will. Just right now, don't really care. I really wish we had auger parts, because as far as I remember, we can do everything. We just cannot make auger parts. And that's the thing, right? Is There's no way to make those. You have to find them. It's kind of like the guns. Back in the day... If you go back far enough, there was a thing back in the day where you could essentially make these things. I mean, you had to find the mold for it, but once you had that, I believe you could basically craft this stuff to your heart's content. It's a pretty interesting system way back when, and it's, uh, in a way, it's a shame that we don't still have that, but, you know, whatever. It is what it is. At some point along the way, it did get another level, so we are up to level 55, if I remember correctly. But that still has us running up short of, well, really the things I want to work on. Cannot do that yet because we need chemistry, uh, science 7. And the best we could do right now is 6, so once we get to level 60, we should be able to do 7, I hope. And then we could do chem station, because I was just going to start cooking these bones down. But you know what? We'll just sit on them. We don't need them right now. They're, they're not going to do us any good right now. Put that guy away. Here, we'll take a goldenrod tea, just because we are perched. And then, I think maybe... I, I gosh, There are still so many things that need to be done. Let me see, where are we on rocks? I think we only have what we have. Let's go deal with this wandering horde right quick. I mean, I assume it's a wandering horde. Okay. I'm gonna make sure that I don't get stuck in the door. That is my new goal. If I fail everything else, I I hope to not fail that, and I'll be I'll be okay with it. Holy crap! I wasn't ready for you. I was ready for everyone else. Hey, don't go stand on my mailbox. That's rude. Please take your shoes off first. Those are dirty. Jeez. Yeah, this is all good. Here, let's go ahead and get a couple of arrow kills just to work on that skill a little bit. Lots of headshots for everyone. Hey, Ooh, look at that. There's some duct tape. See, if I remember correctly, one of the things we left behind was like a duct tape or something. Well, just got three more, so I'm not going to argue with it. Sometimes it just works out okay. Scavenging has gone up, that's good. Although I don't remember if there's any more quality Joes. It might be at maximum quality Joe. No, I do think there is one more, now that I say that. Yeah. But we need scavenging 60, and we're just not there yet, so... We'll get there eventually. We do have some farming we should probably do out here. Our blueberries are done, and our aloe vera and potatoes are done. Everything else is not... I don't think we need any of these crops right now, so what I might do is just sit on them. And then the next time we need to, or uh, rather when the corn, etc. are done, then what we'll do is we'll go through and plant some yucca seeds at that time. So I'm pretty sure if we take these guys, we can get yucca seeds out of them. There you go. So we'll do some yucca seeds when we're ready for that. Actually, I want to see what other recipes there are. Yucca juice, um... I'm going to craft one right quick, just because I don't remember what the wellness gain is on it. And that was really the whole reason for taking that stuff. I was just really trying to think of wellness gain and all of that. Here, we don't need these right now, we'll just hold on to them, there's no rhyme or reason. So you're a wellness point one. if I'm not mistaken, the T is a point two. So it's not as good, um, but it's fine. We got a bunch of it and, nah. I don't think there's a smoothie in here, is there? Guess that was something that was added later in the game. That's that's a shame. I don't think I've ever 
ever made the snowberry juice. I don't even think I knew that was a thing. I never really messed with the snowberries because I knew they kind of messed you up if you had a bunch of them. I don't think I ever knew that was a thing. Huh. Today I learned. I'm just looking at what we have for crafting slash building supplies overall. So we don't have a whole lot of stuff here. Can we... Oh goodness, I need to... I don't know where this is going to be. It's just under concrete mixing. So mining tools is not at 20 yet. We also need a cement mixer. So can we make the mixer right now? We can. So why don't we do that just to start getting prepared for concrete? I mean, I realize we're kind of jumping the gun here by doing this. I honestly don't remember what you needed for that, so I'm just going to grab all those things and hope that's it. Mechanical parts. Got it. Mechanical parts. Okay, let's go ahead and make a mixer. Make a concrete, or a cement mixer, rather. And then at some point we're going to have to get a bunch of stones in here so we can start making cement, because I don't think there's an easy source of cement in this particular version of the game. I think it just kind of is a more of a manual thing. Like, you just, you gotta make it, and that's the way it is. Let's put some more fuel in here. This is really gonna be, you know, one of these kind of housekeeping episodes. I mean, if it's not clear already, it should be now. <laughs> Let's grab that and that. I'm gonna break these down just to be able to combine them. Here, we'll put that there, and we'll put all that in there. We'll just let this work on brass. We probably should just make a whole other... A whole other forge, if not a couple of forges, but... I'm a little hesitant to make a bunch of these things when... We still haven't really figured out a proper uh, homestead situation, so... Let's just make some more of these guys for now. We'll, we'll need to make some more arrows, so that just... Is and is what it is situation. And then, let's see, we need to get rid of those zombie remains, but they'll go away at some point. Ah, goodness, just, again, trying to think of all the things we need to do. Guess I will go grab some forged iron, just in case we need to repair. That's going to be way, way overkill, and I recognize that. Here, let's take whatever of these guys we have ready. And then, I'm going to go over here, and I'm just going to go... Carve some stones. Just got an upgrade in mining tools, so we're going to go ahead and spend points immediately in the next level of Miner 69er, which will help make this go ever so slightly faster, because we are now getting seven stones instead of six out of it. And just to answer the question, I'm specifically grabbing these guys because I wanted to get a few more of the other resources as well. So a little bit of lead, a little bit of metal, a little bit of... Uh, Potassium nitrate, whatever, if we get any of that, some coal too, whatever. So, back to this. So enough bashing and smashing. Let us get inside and get to crafting. Because I think we have everything we need at this point, although I'm not entirely certain that's true. Can we, can we do a thing in here? We don't have the requisite knowledge. Well, that's a problem. We have everything else we need, though. Collected 1,200 stones, collected 900 lumps of clay. I really thought we had found a thing to do that, or we just straight up could do that. I guess I didn't pay attention. And we do not know the required recipe. So, where is that under? Is it under steel smithings? I think it's just under that. Yeah, that's it. That's nice and easy, whatever, I don't really care. Uh, we do, what did we need? We needed mechanical parts, is that what we needed? Great. Crucible. So there you go, this is your Alpha 16.4 Crucible. You spend 15 points in steel smithing, and then you get a bunch of forged iron, a bunch of mechanical parts, actually not that many, a crap ton of stones, and a large lump of clay. And just like that, you too can make yourself a crucible. Now it's going to be tomorrow before this is done. And when I say tomorrow, uh, I mean real world tomorrow, not, not game world tomorrow. It should be, well, I don't know, it might be close. <laughs> That's going to be a, a sneeze and a half before it's done. 
But just the same, I think we have done pretty good work today. I, I'm going to go ahead and say, you know what? I feel pretty decent about this, and I think I'm just going to leave it right there for today. We'll put this in there and that in there just so that we can use this additional time that is very, very inefficiently being used because someone just decided to drive off without doing anything about it. And then we should probably, here, while, while we're wrapping up, because there are still a few things to do. There are always things to do, just in case you were wondering. There's never not anything to do. There is always something to do. By the way, um, I just want to take a moment to point out 75 health after eating that stew. I don't know if that was just from the stew, but pretty much. I mean, I don't, I don't think we had anything else, so holy crap, dude. So we need to make some more forged iron. Oh, we need to put more clay in there, too. Uh, we'll add that in a second when the brass is done. So let's do another uh, one, two, another 60 of that. That's going to blow through most of the clay we have in there. The rest of this can just be put in here. So here, and we'll just let you do whatever you need to do. You do your thing, and we'll let the iron continue to cook in there. And then we need to make some more arrows, so we will queue those up. And then we probably need to grab some more food at some point. I'm, I think I might just start taking one stew, and we'll just use it whenever we need it at the end. And then we'll take a goldenrod tea. And I think what I might do is get a few of these guys, and we'll just go ahead and turn them into rest uh, recipes. Turn them into recipes now. Turn them into seeds now. That way those are ready to go for us when we're ready to go doing stuff. And I will go prepare the garden. That way, whenever this stuff has grown, it is raining a little bit, then we're just ready to go, and there's no waiting around for anything. So with that, we have done a little bit of everything today. We killed some zombies, we bought some stuff. Uh, no, we didn't buy some stuff, we sold some stuff. We did some digging, some hacking, some smashing, some bashing, and a little bit of crafting, and we will catch up on the next one. Till then, thanks for watching. See you later.